Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a storybook for kids with ChatGPT and Canva. Before we start, hurry up and check out all your software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you create your own storybook here? Well, first things first is we need to access the websites that we want to use. So in this case, go to ChatGPT.com as well as Canva.com. Now in this case, I would recommend you to create your account here in Canva so you'll be, you'll be able to save your changes or your design. In this case, what we need to do first is we need to create our story. So in this case, you could go ahead and use ChatGPT here. Just go ahead and type in the following. In this case, I'm going to actually uh, help me create a short story about a sheep going to space. And from here, just press on enter. It's going to actually get generate you a really cool story here. As you can see, it's going to just uh, start generating here. So let's just wait for it to completely generate here. So as you can see right now, we now have our short story. So they will be uh, divided into different paragraphs here. So obviously you could uh, also divide them and the furthermore, if you want to really divide the pages. So in this case, I'll be using the following the first one here. So I'll be using the first three uh, sections here, just an example button. Then again, you can use the whole lot here. Let's go ahead and go back into Canva here. And we want to go to the search for content and in, and canvas. In this case, just type in the following, which is going to be storybook. Now from here, you should be able to see different templates here that you can use. So obviously, if you see a pro tag on it, you need to have a pro plan in order for you to use it. But in this case, I actually uh, have one thing that I want to use. So maybe I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now it's going to give you the different look for it and the different designs that you can see here. So in this case, you go ahead and click on the customize this template and you should be able to start using it. Now in this case, you should be able to change a few things there. As you can see, we have our first page. We have the uh, first page here, which in this case, the name of the uh, following uh, URL. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to... So let's go ahead and add our title here. It's going to be Ships of a Space Adventure. So this is just an example. Obviously, you could go, uh, go ahead and add your own title. So let's just add or type in sheeps. Let's just add this one, space adventure. Once you've added that, you could go ahead and click on this section here. So obviously it's actually, if it's actually pretty big, you could go ahead and resize it as you would. In this case, you can change the size here if you, if you like. Like for example, I wanna actually use a ship here. Let's just type in sheep, just press and enter. Now in this case, we want to go to elements first. Just type in sheep here press and enter and it's going to be a lot of things that you can do here like for example I want to choose a graphic here and I want to use or add the ship here so let's just add it in here and I want to actually also add a rocket ship so in this case let's go ahead and <laughs> type it uh, in, in here rocket ship here press and enter now obviously you could go ahead and start using your designs or start designing it as you want but this is just an example, obviously, but I'll be, I'll be showing you how to do it. So uh, I'll be using the uh, free one here. So maybe I want to use this one. So in this case, I want to make it a lot bigger. I want to also make this a lot smaller. And I want to actually bring this into front, bring to front here. In this case, let's go ahead and move things around here. So maybe I want to use this one. I don't want to actually uh, reposition it. So let's just position it here and maybe uh, turn it around here. This is just an example, obviously, but yeah. So in this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and go to the second page here, which in this case is going to be the character page. Now, then again, you could go ahead and use the available free assets here as you want. So since I only have one here, I'm going to just add my sheep. But if you have more into your story, you could go ahead and add them as you would. Now, by the way, a great thing that you could actually use here is going to be one of the apps that I have here. So in this case, you could actually use one of the apps. It's actually uh, the magic, like I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be my media. So it's going to be magic media, press and enter. 
and you should be able to see it in here so it might need to scroll down a bit for you to see it now if you don't see magic media here you could go to the section for discover and look for the turn ai or turn images and here are the it mojo ai so you could go ahead and use that as well so it's going to click on open for us to generate our uh, images here so in this case you could add your prompts here and even customize what you want so for example i want to actually a uh, have a uh, sheep in a um draw a format so sheep in a customized format here let's just type in our front prompt here first so actually use or enter the following which is going to be ship in a sheep in a cartoon art style riding a spaceship so in this case you can go ahead and click on the create masterpiece option here this might take a while so in this case you can go and just wait for it so as you can see, we now have this cute image here that, as you can see right now. So you could also change the art style here if you want like comic book, anime, or fantasy art, or digital art here. So in this case, you go ahead and choose that. So in this case, I will be using this one. So we now have to uh, basically change a few things like character page here. If you want to delete one of the pages here, we go and click on delete page. Now from here, you could go ahead and start adding your characters. So I actually have a few things. Let's just delete all the extra ones here. So in this case, so we now want to actually add our page. Let's go and click on add page here. In this case, this is where the fun fun part actually starts. In this case, you could go ahead and start your adding your elements. So for example, I want to actually add a section here. So let's just choose elements here. Click on all. And I want to actually add a, uh, a frame here. So you can also use a grid if you want to. So let's just click on see all. And from here, maybe I want to use this one. So this is just an example, obviously. But again, you can go ahead and add yours here. In this case, in this case I want to actually uh, use this one. Let's just put this in the right side here. And we want to go back into our chat GPT here. We first want to copy our first uh, text here. So in this case, I go and click on text and we want to actually add a, a body here and just paste our text. In this case, you can resize this if you want. So I want to, or we'll actually want to resize this. I want to actually uh, minimize the uh, actually here and I want to change the uh, alignment. So I want to choose the left side here. Once you've done that, you could go and resize it as you could, as you want. So I actually want to resize this bit here. Yep. Here. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and resize whatever here. And I actually want to add a sheep image here. So let's go to our elements. And we now need to go back into our freeze page here. And we want to go ahead and go to our sheep. So in this case, I could go ahead and use this sheep again. But then again, you could go ahead and use whatever element that you want. So in this phase, uh, it's actually more or you have more creative freedom in this space here. But in this case, you can go ahead and do whatever. So in this case, you can even change even the uh, font size here if you want to. So for example, maybe I want to use like a vertical world here. So yeah. Uh, once you've done that, I want to actually change the color here as well since we are talking about it being night. Change the font color as well, our text color changes to white so that it actually matches now from here i want to actually add a section here so i want to actually go back into mojo ai here and i want to generate another image so in this case i'm going to say it is going to be night sky with a flying or in this case a flying rocket so in this case is going to click on the jerry master piece here let's go ahead and wait for it so once your image is generated, you can go ahead and press and hold on it and you want to hover over it on the frame that we just had. So in this case, we now have a fill on that specific frame. So in this case, uh, again, you could go ahead and edit whatever here. So you can go ahead and do that. So in this case, once you've added your page here, you can go ahead and click on add page again and basically uh, proceed with your design. So in this case, you can go ahead and copy the next paragraph here, paste it in here and add the whole other design that you want to use for it. Now, once you're done, you can go ahead and click on the share button at the top right here. And from here, you want to actually use one of the following. In this case, it's going to be the more option. And you want to actually scroll down a bit here and you want to look for a very uh, specific one, which is the design section and the simple booklet flip. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, it's going to say uh, which pages that we want to add for this one. Let's go ahead and choose four pages or all pages here and click on save. It's going to design or in this case, prepare your design. 
And once your design is prepared, you go and click on the uh, view in simple booklet flip. And you should be able to uh, basically see it. But in this case, I want to first log in into my account here. Let's go and choose our account. So if you haven't created your account, make sure to create your account first. Now, in this case, uh, this is where you will be able to see it. But then again, if you don't see it in here, you could go ahead and go back in here. Click on the view in simple booklet. And you should be able to see it in here. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is to delete one of the already existing booklet here. So obviously, if you already have, like for example, if you've uh, if you haven't added any flip books, uh, flip books here, you need to actually delete one if you already have. So let's go and click on delete here. Click on delete because uh, for you to add new ones, you need to pay additional fees here. But we don't want to do that. So in this case, this will actually add our flipbook here. So it's going to say the title of our flipbook here. So let's just say Sheep's um, Adventures. So let's just type it in here. Sheep's Space Adventure. Space Adventure. From here, you could go ahead and proceed with this one. Like for example, Page Curls or how you want to actually proceed with the animations for your flipbook. So we'll be using Page Curls here. The recommended here, let's go and click on convert. Now once actually converted, you should be able to see it in here. So this might take a few minutes, so let's just wait for it. And as you can see right now, we now have our flipbook. So whenever you click on the arrows here, as you can see, we now have our flipping effect, which is something pretty cool. So in this case, yeah, so that's about it. So uh, hopefully this video was able to help you, or if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.